Hey guys, what's going on? Steven back again, and I'm back with some Walking Dead news. So we have some details about a dropped storyline. Now I have an article here from the Daily Mail, and it says the Walking Dead star Lou Temple reveals his Season 3 character Axel was originally envisioned as a serial killer before a last minute change. Damn, that would have been pretty interesting. Alright, so the article goes on to say... As fans wait for The Walking Dead to return for its 11th season this fall, well, we're still waiting for the season 10 finale, and as for this fall, I'll have to wait and see. Some interesting details have surfaced about a character who has come and gone. Lou Temple portrayed the prisoner Axel in the first half of season 3, one of the prisoners whose home is taken over by Rick Grimes and his crew of survivors. Temple appeared on the Talk Dead to Me podcast on Sunday, where he revealed his Axel character was originally envisioned as a serial killer. At the end of Season 2, Rick and his group had discovered the prison, which they took over in the beginning of Season 3, with Axel being one of the survivors who managed to not be bitten and turned into a zombie. Temple revealed that when he first read for the role, he was told Axel was going to be a serial killer, when they had a sudden change of heart. I showed up with that idea that it was going to be a serial killer and foreboding. And then, the day of, got a note to switch that, he began. No, no, we got, in, we got to lighten things up a little bit. We've been pretty dark, they told him, adding there had been scripts written that had. Lou continued that there were some scripts that had Axel abducting and murdering Herschel Green's daughter, Beth, played by Emily Kinney. There were some episodes that were written where I do take Beth out into the woods and slaughter her. And we didn't get to any of those, he added. Damn. That would have been... Wow. That's why I kept buttoned up. He was going to come undone and be totally Henry Rollins tattooed. Huh. Interesting. I mean, looking back now and looking at the picture, seeing him buttoned, you know, all the way up and stuff like that, I, hmm. I don't think if I go back and rewatch, I'll look at it the same way anymore. You know, just waiting for him to just, like, rip off his thing and, like, you know, hail Satan or whatever written, you know, tattooed on his chest. Damn, that would have been interesting. Uh, let's see, the whole thing about being a drugged addict was all a fakeade. The thing about the squirt gun and the pistol is all bullshit, he added. Uh, Lou adds, there were other darker things the writers considered doing with Axel, but even those were too dark. I did kind of see something, I can't remember where it was, if it was on Facebook or something like that, where he mentioned something about Carol and like just beating the crap out of her as well. Whew. Uh, I mean, just these really dark things the writers uh, were talking about, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, we painted ourselves into a corner. The governor is showing up, and he's got to draw first blood. He's got to draw first blood, and it's looking like you're going to get the short straw. I mean, that does kind of make sense. Uh, let's see, he opened up that before he landed the role as Axel in three, season three, he auditioned for the role of Merle, played by Michael Rooker. Uh, the first character that I went to was the pilot episode, and it was Merle. It was great. It was written so well. The monologue on the roof, really good stuff, he said. While Merle only appeared in the first few uh, the first few episodes of the first season, when he was handcuffed to the roof by Rick, he returned for th the third season, revealing he sawed off his, home, his own hand to escape the fate Rick gave him. Uh, Temple also said he read for Merle's brother, Daryl Dixon, and of course, a role ultimately won by Norman Reedus, who became one of the show's mainstays. So there we go. Axel was going to be a serial killer. Wow. Wow. Huh. I mean, if I go back and rewatch now, I don't think I'll look at him the same way. I really don't think I could look at him the same way. Especially with him, you know, having his thing buttoned all the way up. And now 
looking at a picture of all the other prisoners and stuff like that, and they have their their um, I don't know whatever you want to call them jumpsuits or whatever, you know, just unbuttoned all the way down. Uh, what's his name here? You know, doesn't even have his thing on. You know, his is unbuttoned, three buttons down, maybe two buttons here. You know, what was it tiny or something like that? It's got his all the way down, and then you got him. You know, just fully, fully buttoned up all the way up to the neck there. I don't think I could look at him the same way now. I think that would have been really interesting, but I do understand the whole you know hey the governor's coming you know he is kind of the first villain i guess depending on how you want to put shane i don't know shane really wasn't i don't know he was more of a threat to rick than really to like anybody else you know maybe um maybe dale but I can't really see him. I don't know. I really can't count him as the big bad or the big villain. I don't know. I mean, to me, the governor is the first big bad, the first big villain, ultimately, of the, sh of the show. You know, the governor being the first. So I can kind of understand where they were coming from. You know, hey, this is the first big bad he has to strike first he has to be the first one to draw blood because then you know he might get overshadowed by hey we got this serial killer here running around too so i could kind of understand that i still think it's a pretty cool idea i think it'd be pretty cool if they used it in um you know maybe a later season or something like that you know from what i hear the commonwealth stuff i haven't read it uh, I've just heard it's not that great. I guess there's not that much happens in in the Commonwealth stuff. So what I think could be pretty interesting and pretty cool is to bring this storyline to the Commonwealth. Now just imagine our group, they go to the Commonwealth, they're brought inside, and unknowing to our group and the Commonwealth, another person snuck in with them now this unknown person is a serial killer and he starts going around murdering people in the commonwealth so now the commonwealth are blaming our group hey none of this was happening until you showed up it's one of your people who's doing this and our group's like whoa 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 it's not us it's it's none of us we're not doing it and a little yes it is no it's not yes it is no it's not a little clash there i think that'd be pretty cool to start some sort of tension between the groups and stuff like that and then of course they find out you know hey it's some random guy who's not part of us you know i don't, I don't know i think that'd actually be kind of cool i think that would kind of work out I don't, I don't know that's, that's just me but yeah I think if I go back now I can't look at him the same way anymore hmm wow all right so there we go there is all the news we have for right now nothing else new about season 10 finale just gotta wait who knows what they're going to do. Uh, I think filming hasn't started yet. Uh, you know, by now. Let's see, what's today? The 15th. Usually they'd be, I don't know, I want to say maybe halfway through episode one. Maybe finished episode one already. I guess depending on when when they would have started. So assuming they started, if they started on May 1st, you know, by now. Uh, I think episode one would have been done. Um Yeah, I I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see whenever filming starts and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, I mean, if they keep waiting, we might not see it this year. Uh, 
I don't know what they do. I don't know, it just kind of like mess everything up, you know, if they don't, if they're not able to start, you know, normally when they start October, go to beginning of December, stop, take their break, return again, you know, and if it get, does get pushed back, you know, to the beginning of next year and they air it in January, all right, so then you go eight episodes, then you have to take a break, I'm assuming, um... return for another eight episodes i i don't know i don't know what they're going to do because then they'd have to do season two of the spin-off show and then whatever happens with fear i don't know i don't know what they're going to do how they're going to do it we'll just have to wait and see but anyways there we go there is all the news for right now so let me know what you guys think what do you think about uh blue Axel, I should say, uh, his original role being a serial killer. Would you have liked to seen that or not? You know, or do you think that would have taken away from the governor, you know, having this guy here, Axel, being a serial killer while we're introducing the governor being our first big bad? Let me know what you think. I'd love to hear all your thoughts and comments. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. That'd be awesome. Remember, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on social media. Links are in the description box below. And other than that, just stick around. More videos are on the way. And I'll see you guys next time.